Maroochydore is um, a very itinerant area. Um, we have families that have been here, a second and third generation families that are at Maroochydore State School, but there are many families that come from interstate and overseas that choose Maroochydore as their stepping off point. In our school in the last four years, the ins and outs of our students have almost equaled the numbers of our students each year, so it um, could be considered a very highly mobile school. And there are representations along a whole um, spectrum of socioeconomic uh, need, and uh, I guess that's where we see our roles, trying to assist those families to, to break down barriers so that an equal education is possible for everybody. I recognised with the um, families that I was working with that there were children who um, were under stress at school um, due to maybe emotional problems or financial problems that the family were going through. Um, in extreme cases there was homelessness. So I was looking for a way to, to support these people and recognise that there are a lot of agencies out there doing some great work. Julie Weir, the student support officer at the school here, noticed that some of the children from Maroochydore State School that we were working with um, were making some fairly significant progress. She knew that they had some significant issues in their life and was intrigued at how quickly they were making progress. She knew there was another group of students in the school that uh, had other issues in their life who didn't seem to be making progress. So she contacted us and was interested to know what was it that we might be doing that could be having that sort of effect and also asked us a question whether we would be interested in coming and doing it in Maroochydore State School. So what happened was we actually uh, set up a partnership with Sunny Kids and the Sunny Kids provided a facilitator and it was funded jointly by the school and, and, uh, and Sunny Kids and the facilitator is able to connect families with external agencies that otherwise we wouldn't have connection with. Every couple of weeks the key stakeholders for this project get together. They basically look at all the uh, children that have come, up, come onto the radar in that fortnight. And then when we will discuss the complexities of the case and then decide, well, uh, the Sunny Kids program certainly will be able to work towards meeting the needs of this particular family through linking them into services out in the community. And it is very, very important for these families. These families would become um, disenfranchised in many ways from, from the community if we weren't able to make that link for them. 90% of the children that have been referred into the program have showed improvement. Uh, and 40% of them have seen whatever issue they were referred to either resolved or uh, mostly resolved. It's just so lovely to see children um, blossoming uh, in times of stress. And there are families hurting out there and there are families in distress situations and if we can do something about it as, as a school then we'll do it. I see it that this is the sort of program that we could have in any community in Australia. It sounds a bit cliched but it's not rocket science. It's just about the community coming together and partnering to make sure that the little ones are okay. I suppose what we really want is for more people to get involved and more people to discover how easy it is to support kids and how easy it is to make a difference.